Hi, I'm Carmen Zlatev, Lead Program Manager for the Windows 8 Photos app. I'm here to introduce our app and talk to you about a few of the features that we've added for the Windows 8 release preview. We take a lot of photos, and they end up in a lot of different places. Some are on our PCs. Others end up on a photo sharing service like Flickr or Facebook, and even more are on our phones, sometimes indefinitely. How and where we share our photos has changed, and will continue to change, as we take more photos, buy more devices, and share with more people and in more places. What we need is one place to relive, enjoy, and immerse ourselves in our memories, all our memories, from everywhere. With the Windows 8 Photos app, your memories are so real you can touch them, so rich you'll want to share them to your TV, and so funny you'll want to share them with your friends. Let's take a look at the app. Here we are on the start screen for Windows 8. I'm going to tap into the Photos app. Here we see all the places I put my photos. And I have a lot of photos on SkyDrive. And because I've been using PhotoMail and Hotmail, all of those photos are already there for me to enjoy. I also have a Windows phone. And so every photo I take with my Windows phone goes straight to SkyDrive. Here they are in my camera roll folder. I also occasionally post photos on Facebook for my friends to see, so those are all available to me as well. And my Flickr photos show up here too. Of course, most of my photos are sitting at home on my PC where I'm running SkyDrive on my desktop. This allows me to see the photos on my home computer. There will be times when I just want my photos to be on the device itself, so we've made it easy to import photos to the Photos app. I have some photos on this USB drive that the Photos app has recognized and prompted me to import. I can choose which photos I want and click Import, and when they're done importing, simply tap on Open Album and can see and interact with them. With all my local memories, I can browse by album, like I'm doing here, or by date, which is convenient if I haven't organized my albums yet, or if I prefer to look at my albums by time. And if there are a lot of photos, I can zoom out to see them small, or zoom back in to continue telling my story. Of course, if I want to see them in their full glory, I can do that too, even videos. Check out how I can scrub a video. It's like the video is stuck to my finger. I really liked this photo that we took in Hawaii, so I'm going to set it as my app background. Now I've personalized my Photos app. I'm going to do the same for my lock screen. It is a personal computer, after all. I know my mom would like to see the photos that we took from our recent trip to Hawaii, so I'm just going to select a few, swipe, and share them in email. I can choose to either send these photos as ordinary attachments or send using SkyDrive instead. They're kind of big, so I'll send them using SkyDrive. Tap Send, and they're off. Now when my mom comes to visit, she always wants to see more pictures, but huddling around the computer can get kind of awkward. Just swipe devices, pick my TV, and enjoy. With Windows 8 and a certified DLNA TV, we can just sit on the couch, lean back, and relive memories together without crowding around a small screen. The Windows 8 Photos app brings all your memories together in one place. With rich views and easy navigation, all your memories are just a touch away. Lean forward and find that special photo to share, or sit back and relive your memories. The Photos app on Windows 8 makes reliving memories fast, fluid, and fun. Thanks, and enjoy!